Join the ride with this year's Highlighted Farmers to give you a look at what it's like inside the cab during harvest season. It's the Cab Cam, brought to you by Hancock and Sarah Gordo, Farm Bureau, Petro Blend, Mason City All Risk, MBT Bank, Johnson Oil, and Linex. And now, let's go to the cab with your host, Jay Brooks. It's another episode of the, the cab cam. We're on the tractor this time in the uh, green cart, and I got uh, Brent Renner with me. And Brent, uh, so far, harvest been going good? Been going real well. Yep, Has real it? well. Good, 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 good. Tell us about, we get in here, we talk with different uh, farmers and uh, highlight different farmers and their, their machinery and, and, uh, and, their, and if it's a family farm or not. Sure. So tell us about, about the, the, the machinery that you guys run out here. Sure. So what we're sitting in today is a Case IH MX 315. Uh, it's a, a 300 plus horse tractor that's pulling a thousand bushel grain cart. It's a Brent grain cart on tracks. That's what we use to pull the corn from the combine and go load trucks or wagons or whatever we got at the end of the field waiting for us. And hey, what type of combine are you running? Uh, we have a 7230 Case IH combine with an eight row uh, chopping corn head, uh, Case IH corn head. You always uh, ran Case IH then? Yeah, we have for quite a while. Uh, when I was awful young, we had a yellow combine, but uh, we've been red ever since. That's back in the early 90s probably. We've been red since then. So. Yeah, so how did you get involved in the in the farming industry? Uh, well, third, actually a fourth generation family farm. So uh, my great grandpa and my grandpa moved up here from Nebraska back in the uh, Dust Bowl era. Uh, okay. the depression was hitting and it was kind of hard to, to uh, farm in that area. So they came up to north central Iowa and got a fresh start and Worked as uh, hired men for a couple different established farmers in the area and slowly but surely uh, developed a land base and uh, my dad and my uncle farmed uh, while I was in grade school and high school and I uh, decided uh, after college I wanted to come home and try to continue the operation so that's what we've done. A lot of people think that farming, oh boy, that's what you get the 4x4 four four on the side of the truck, four weeks in the spring, four weeks in the fall, that's about it, right? Yeah, a lot of people do think that. Um, that's not always the case. In fact, it's usually not the case. Um, not only do we have some livestock, I still take care of uh, a few head of pigs. So that's, you know, year-round. Uh, uh -huh. Busier sometimes more than others, depending on what size they are. Um, yeah, but between livestock and, you know, any more uh, crop protection has become a, a pretty big thing. Um, constantly evolving weed species that we got to try to control that are hard to control with certain types of chemistry. We've got bugs that show up in our beans and corn that we've got to protect with some sort of insecticide. We've got uh, a really big thing in the last couple of years has been fungicide on corn because of uh, plant health, We're trying to keep that plant healthy as long as possible into the uh, latter part of the growing season so that we can uh, reap as many bushels per acre as possible off that plant. That's uh, in the last couple of years shown a pretty good return on investment. So, I also own a sprayer, and uh, it seems like uh, anymore in the summer I kind of live in that sprayer. It, it, uh, we do a lot of spraying to yeah. keep this crop healthy. So, so not only just the farming, but also you do other things too outside of the farming. But uh, you're you're heavily involved. Obviously, a big part of the Farm Bureau in Hancock County. Yeah, yeah. I was um, I've been involved with in Farm Bureau since I came home from college and uh, in fact uh, Nikki and I, my wife and I, uh, served as uh, young farmer chairman, state young farmer chairman for our district and uh, that, I thought that was a good way to get Nikki kind of involved in, in agriculture, it means she didn't come from a farm, didn't know much about it, so that was a great experience and then uh, that led to some more opportunities just on a county basis for some leadership opportunities. They provide a lot of different uh, programs to develop leadership and become involved in uh, policy and, and uh, you know, like right now, there's people already talking about the next Farm Bill. Uh, if you want to be involved in that discussion or if you don't like something right now that uh, the Farm Bill doesn't offer or you think it should offer or be changed, then uh, Farm Bureau 
gives people a, a good opportunity to have a voice in, in how and it's a grassroots effort to uh, you know change change the way things are or make it better so yeah that, I was a uh, county president for uh, two or three years and uh, passed that to Rusty Olson last year so he's our president now for Hancock County and uh, have a, an awesome active board who's heavily involved in uh, fair activities now. Um, that's been a, a great thing. And uh, a lot of people willing to step up and uh, help out where it's needed, wherever we, you know, we do. The, you're involved in the Ag Breakfast. Uh, yeah. We do. It. And this year we got some high school students involved with that. That was a lot of fun and, and uh, a great opportunity to develop some of those young farmers, future young farmers. And uh, yeah. yeah, it's been a great experience. Well, the funny thing about this is, too, you know, going to school in Garner Hayfield, back, it was Garner Hayfield back in the day, but to see these guys that uh, are out in the fields and running farm operations, it's not cheap, it's a it's a big time uh, industry, but to see you guys now, young ones going, my gosh, we're getting old. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, we were just talking about that. Yeah. Uh, it's uh, amazing how time flies, and yeah, it, it, it feels like we're still young at heart, but yeah. uh, we're... Uh, we're putting on the ears; they fly by. So. Yeah. Now we're talking kids graduating and, yep. Yep. and uh, getting up there at high school and wanting to get involved in the the farming. You, you said uh, you got a freshman, is that right? Correct. My oldest is a freshman, and uh, yeah, it's a little early for him to make that type of decision, but uh, he did show some interest in trying to figure out kind of how to drive a tractor and, and do what we do. And you know, it's a little different than it was when I was that age. Uh -huh. Or Maybe it's not as different as I think it, it, it is, but it just seems like it's probably more because I've got dollar signs running through my head. <laughs> How many dollars is that tractor or combine that he wants to operate? That's yeah. kind of scary. Yeah. Um, back back in the day, I, I'm sure my dad had the same thoughts. You know, uh -huh. what's what's my kid going to screw up today if, yeah. if he drives into something or uh, doesn't do what he's supposed to or dumps corn on the ground or whatever? <laughs> but that's part of uh, learning. That's part of life, and we all go through those things. So. Market's a big uh, part of your day too, right? You yeah, absolutely. Keep up to that. Uh, yep. These things are kind of a necessity now. We uh, keep track of markets probably hourly in some cases. Right? Yeah. And uh, yeah, we're in a, a a period and an era of uh, maybe a little bit of a, a depressed market, but uh, we seem to uh, overproduce uh -huh. pretty pretty easily now, and that's going to equate from the laws of supply and demand in lower prices that's just the way it works but uh, it, it has been encouraging to see uh, increased demand from other countries so we're hoping to keep that up and um, maybe get some prices that are a little more attractive next year so. well sounds good well Brent it's always great to see you out here I've never never been out here to the farm with you and yeah and I know we've dealt with like you mentioned the uh, uh, egg breakfast and things like that but yep. uh, but I appreciate you guys taking the time to let us come along and ride in the grain car today. We appreciate you guys coming out too and supporting the Farm Bureau and some other organizations that we're all involved in. That's great. Yeah, it's fantastic. So that's another episode of the Camp Cam. Again, thanks to uh, the riders for letting us ride along out here. And, and uh, until next time, we'll talk to you again and, and have a safe harvest. Yeah.